Elden Ring is an RPG with no story. The narrative in Elden Ring, so much as there is one, is not that of a linear story, but more akin to being an observer and vague participant of history. This history is unequivocally ambiguous and requires the player to fill in a lot of blanks. This additional effort put upon the player is greatly supported by the game design. Elden Ring is so capable in this game design as a matter of fact, it doesn't even need a story. Elden Ring does something better than giving the player a story. Stories, after all, being an overdone contrivance from RPGs of yore. No, Elden Ring does something different. Something transcendental. Elden Ring gives a player an archaeology. It has rendered 5,000 years of fantasy, legend, myth, and folk into 60 frames per second, and then boom, drops the player right in the middle. But does this game have a story? I think not. If you ask the average Elden junkie to give a description of the game's story, at most, they will mutter off a bunch of vague happenstance while failing to connect the greater significance of any one occurrence to that of another. Instead of giving their game a story, the designers gave everything else a story. For instance, this sword has a narrative. So does this shield. This shield asks a question. There are literal journals giving insights into the consumable items, which of course have their own mysteries buried in the annals of history as well. This game has archaeology. Digital archaeology. As players in Elden Junkies, searching for the whole point of it all, we perform digital archaeology by reading the descriptions from dozens of items and puzzling out the geopolitical power struggles of the fractured world we find ourselves inhabiting thereby giving sense and meaning to the seemingly random events that enigmatically occurred during the main game or side quest. After placing those events in the greater context to learn from items, we find it become less enigmatic. But still, chess is bizarre. Elden Ring is exceptional in its archaeological experience and forms a story that is not told, but inhabited. This exceptionally realized digital archaeology makes Elden Ring a transcendent form of media. Furthermore, the experience of Elden Ring can only exist as a video game. You cannot create this type of experience in a movie, book, song, or other traditional form of narrative delivery. It can only exist as a game, and I thereby also call it art. Anyways, all I'm trying to say is that Elden Ring is an RPG that does not have a story, but it is a form of transcendental art.